This is Jared Horak for todaysracingdigest.com and this is my San Anita Saturday video for Saturday, April 8th, 2017 and this is the big one. This is the one we've been waiting for, the Grade 1 Santa Anita Derby. The three-year-olds and they're going to be traveling nine furlongs on the main track and it'll be the eighth race. Uh, but before we get into the video, if you're interested in joining the Today's Racing Digest email list, click on the link provided in this video and, and you can get a free Santa Anita Derby reports plus 50% off of the Santa Anita uh, Derby Day Complete Digest from Santa Anita Park. Uh, so click on that email link, jo join that email list, and if, if you're interested in those reports, excellent deal, 50% off the Digest, it's only going to be $4, uh, tough 11 race card, Santa Anita Derby Day, you're going to need a lot of help, the Digest has a ton of information, workout reports, uh, they have uh, excellent speed figures, analysis of all the races. So, so take advantage of this deal. It's, it's an excellent deal and, and I know you're going to need help on San Anita Derby Day. Just a tough 11 race program. Uh, before we get into this video again, also I've had, this is the three, last three videos for the Digest. We've had winners. We've had two top choice winners collected last week. And also we had in the, in the uh, Louisiana Derby, we had the Exacta and the Trifecta. So we've been on the roll on these videos. And let's try to give you some more winners using that digest information. And in this race, we have a 13 horse field. Iliad is going to be your morning line favorite for trainer Doug O'Neill. He finished second in the San Felipe behind Mastery. I think Mastery was going to be the Kentucky Derby winner. Unfortunately, he got hurt in that race and he had to have surgery. Uh, but uh, Iliad ran an okay second. It's just a question of how far he wants to run. He looked really good winning the San Vicente at Santa Anita at seven furlongs, but then stretching out last time, he didn't look quite as good, although he did run into a very talented runner. I'm not sure he wants to go this far. He fits on speed figures. He fits on class. He, he should set a decent tactical trip. It's just a question of can he see out that nine furlong distance. The same question can be posed to Gormley. Gormley for trainer John Sheriffs. In that same San Felipe last time, he ended up finishing a weakening fourth, and now he's going to have to go further as well. Now, he is a two-time graded winner around two turns at Santa Anita, uh, but not at this distance. And if he can sit a comfortable trip, he could be dangerous. But he's the type of horse that uh, when he sits that right trip, his preferred trip where he's up front, he's, he's not in any kind of trouble. In that San Felipe, he was in between horses. He didn't. Uh, seem comfortable at all in there, and he backed right out in the stretch. Now, um, Gormley's uh, stablemate, Royal Mo, uh, he's parked out in post 13. He looked good in the in the Bob Lewis uh, at Santa Anita uh, Derby prep earlier this season, but then they shipped him last time to Oakland Park for the Rebel Stakes, and he ended up retreating in that one from an outer post chasing a, a decent pace, and, and the speed figure didn't come back that strong either. And now, again, now he's going to be out on the outside uh, under new rider Gary Stevens. I think if he had, his best shot might be to just sit back and try and see if he can close some ground. He has closed in the past, and I think maybe that could be uh, the, the key to success in here because there's a lot of pace. Now, this race has the combination of what looks like a fast pace on paper and then multiple horses who are going to be suspect at this nine for a long distance. And one of the features in the digest, uh, they have the closers, the best closers, the fastest finishers in each race. A lot of times at Santa Anita on their speed favoring main track, that's not that important. But I think in this race it is. And your top three fastest finishers projected by the Digest uh, reach the world for trainer Bob Baffert. Uh, we have Battle of Midway and they both come out of the same race. And then you have Term of Art uh, breaking from the inside post and he rallied to finish third in the San Felipe. So those are your three best finishers. And my top choice in this race is going to be reach the world for trainer Bob Baffert. Three lifetime starts. All three starts this year, all three at Santa Anita around two turns, and he's certainly improving. His fire numbers have improved each time out. He showed nice um, closing ability in that last race. Uh, Mike Smith is going to ride, and look at that jockey-trainer combination, and look at the trainer stats. First, the trainer stats. Bob Baffert, last 15 starters, seven wins, a second and a third. So he's seven for his last 15. Bob uh, Baffert with Mike Smith. They're 10 for 23 together, a good jockey-trainer team. They teamed up with, with Arrogant to win multiple races. Uh, so this is a good jockey trainer team. They have a hot barn right now. Look at the Digest workout reports. The Digest clocker, he likes the way that Reach the World is working for this race. Look at the pedigree, top and bottom. He's, he's a son of Taffet on, on the damn side, bred to run all day. So he's, he certainly should get the mile in an eighth distance. 
He's lightly raced, he's on the improve, speed figures are moving up, good workouts, good connections. There's a lot to like about Reach the World in the 2017 Santa Anita Derby. Now my second choice in the, in the Santa Anita Derby is going to be Kim Bear. Now Kim Bear just broke his maiden last time out in his sixth lifetime start. Uh, he's one that broke his maiden at seven furlongs, so now he's going to stretch out. But he has run two turn races in the past, and he ran decent. He earned a nice fire number in that last race, breaking his maiden. Now, originally, he was supposed to run in the Sunland Derby. He was entered in that spot. He was my live um, top choice. It was, it was going to be a long shot that day, and he was, he was my um, value top choice in the Sunland Derby, but they scratched. They decided to go here instead. And this is a wide open race, and if he can close some ground in here, he, he could be a bit interesting at a nice price. Now my third choice is going to be the one Term of Art. I'm not sure that Term of Art really can win this race. He's a plotter, but I know that he can get the mile and an eighth distance. And that, that effort last time wasn't horrible. He was a little more than a length plus behind Iliad in that San Felipe. Not a bad effort. His last two fire numbers, much better than his other numbers, so he's, he's improving. He's got a nice long distance pedigree, that plotting running style, and he's a perfect horse to key in second, third, and fourth in your exactas, trifectas, and superfectas. Now the horse that beat reached the world last time, Battle of Midway, is in here for trainer Jerry Hollendorfer, but he just held on and he set a perfect trip last time of beating Reach the World, whereas Reach the World had to overcome a bit from off the pace. So Battle of Midway, he's capable of sitting that stalking trip, but I think when you get to that final 16th and in the stretch, and late stretch, I think he could end up being a little bit tired. American Anthem for trainer Bob Baffert. He, uh, he gave Gormley a real battle in the, in the um, sham stakes earlier this year, and then they shipped him to the Rebel along with Royal Mel, and, and he finished up the track as the favorite. He's capable of, of better, but, but uh, he's probably going to be a bit over bet uh, for, the, for the Baffert Bard in here. Now, suggestions for playing the Santa Anita Derby? I would say I'm going to certainly make a win wager on, on, on Reach the World in this race. And I'm going to have to play an exacta box with Reach the World and Kim Bear. And then I think uh, another way of playing it, uh, Term of Art, I'm pretty sure Term of Art, if he runs his race and these horses tire as expected, he's going to finish somewhere in the exacta trifecta or superfecta. So I'll bet Reach the World to win, exacta box with Kim Bear, and then I'll have uh, trifectas, exactas, and, and superfectas keying Term of Art in second third and fourth because he should go off at a good number. Now if you're interested again in, in that today's Racing Digest reports for San Diego Derby Day, um, the link provided uh, for that, join that email list and you can get the Digest information, San Anita a Derby Day a reports for the Digest for free. Uh, plus if you're interested in the complete Digest, 50% off, uh, join that email list, you'll get 50% off that San Anita Derby Day Digest. Uh, for, for four dollars. It's, it's an outstanding deal. And if you're interested in my full card analysis, I also sell that at todaysracingdigest.com. Uh, click on the handicappers page, professional handicappers reports. You'll find my full cards from Santa Anita each day, plus best bets from around the country. That'll wrap up this week's video for the Digest. We'll be back next week with a Santa Anita stakes race. We're going to plus a bonus video next week, the Arkansas Derby from Oakland Park. Until then, good luck at the races.